we brought 150 devils in from the wild. They are placed across a number of zoos and wildlife parks, large free-range enclosures where devils can live in a semi-natural environment but still at much higher density than they do in the wild, breed up and live in a natural state. These are all components of what we call an insurance population and it's an insurance meta-population. There are many small populations. So if the disease gets into one, we can still save the Tasmanian devil in others. The point of the Devil Insurance Program and Devil Ark is to keep devils safe in captivity for their release to the wild uh, when deemed necessary. Now, one of the most critical components of that is that devils remain as wild devils, behaviourally. That we can take a devil from Devil Ark, put it back into the Tasmanian wilderness, and it survives. It knows how to find food, it knows how to breed, it knows where water is, it knows how to find shelter. It's critical that we retain those wild behaviours.